Hello, good evening. Welcome to ITV News Central. An 18-year-old man has been found guilty of murder after he stabbed a young rapper outside a charity fundraising event in Birmingham. Armani Mitchell from Northfield knifed Joshua Ribera in the heart after the pair argued over a girl they'd both dated. Our correspondent Andy Bevan reports. Justice for a mother whose only son was taken from her at the age of 18. Aspiring Birmingham grime rapper Joshua Ribera, known as Depp's Man, was stabbed to death during a charity party at TC's nightclub in Selly Oak last September. His killer was Armani Mitchell, who had the street nickname Mini Switch. Mitchell became angry with Ribera after seeing him laughing and joking at the party with a girl with whom he, Mitchell, had had a baby. Joshua's mother has been here for every day of this three-week trial. After today's verdict, she maintained her composure. There's no justice for Joshua because he was too special and too amazing. He could have got, had 100 years in prison and it still wouldn't be justice, but he's, there's justice served for killing another person. CCTV from inside TC's, which was played during the trial, showed Mitchell noticing the girl with Joshua Ribera in a corridor. He turns and goes after them, and off-camera, the two men push and shove each other. Images from a camera on the outside of the club show Ribera walking into the car park, followed by Mitchell and a mutual friend who has his arm around Mitchell's shoulder. Seconds later, in the distance, a fight erupts. Mitchell produces a flick knife and stabs Ribera once in the chest. Joshua staggered back towards the club, holding his T-shirt, which he'd taken off, over the wound to try to stop the flow of blood but the knife had pierced his heart. He made it to the doorway and then collapsed. He died seven hours later in hospital. During the trial, the judge, the lawyers and the jury spent an hour visiting the inside of TC's. The jury were also shown the spot across the road where Joshua was attacked and places where a trail of blood was found. Today, the jury chose to ignore Armani Mitchell's story that he admittedly stabbed Ribera but did so in self-defense. They convicted him of murder. Sentencing Mitchell, Judge William Davis QC told him that although what he'd done was under some degree of provocation, it was cripplingly dangerous to carry knives. He sentenced him to 18 years in prison. Andy Bevan, ITV News. And for an extended interview with Joshua's mother and his friends, you can watch Andy Bevan's special report on our website at the address itv.com slash central. Now, there's worrying new evidence that relatives are doing the job of social workers by taking children away from their parents because they're worried they might be abused. That's according to the councillor in charge of child protection in Birmingham. She says the city council now believes more children are being abused physically or sexually than they know about. Mark Goff reports. It's an uncomfortable admission. But today, officials said that for a city of its size and with its levels of deprivation and poverty, they'd expect to see more cases of child abuse than they already do. High-profile deaths and damning serious case reviews have damaged Birmingham's reputation to care for its children who are being abused, and they're the ones they know about. Now it's a question of the ones they don't, the hidden victims. All our indicators are showing that we don't have nearly as many children in the system as we'd expect to for a city of this size. And that means there are children out there whose needs are going unmet. Why? We've got our unravel. So we think some of it is we're making the wrong decisions when children get referred to us. But we think a lot of it is people just aren't referring to us in the first place. And we've got to understand why that's happening and how we can change that attitude. There's no way of knowing if these children have been abused because the authorities aren't told about them. Today, the Secretary of State said he was appointing a commissioner to help Birmingham improve how it looks after children at risk. Experts will help those working in child protection and for once a long-term plan, five years, to fix Birmingham's damaged reputation. The past will cast long shadows. We we've, we've haven't been doing things right for a long time. There will be further reports into things that have gone wrong. There will be future Ofsted reports that say we're inadequate. Adequate. We're all saying this is only a very frail recovery stage. What's really important is that we don't get thrown off the improvement journey that is set out today. It's a journey which will be by no means easy. Mark Goff reporting there. 
150 jobs are being cut at train operator London Midland. The firm has announced the management positions will be lost as part of a restructure of its head office in Birmingham. Bosses say passengers will not be affected by the changes. David Cameron says he will continue to provide financial support for the National Memorial Arboretum while he's Prime Minister. Earlier this week, the MP for Lichfield, Michael Fabricant, said it was a national disgrace that the Arboretum, which is in Staffordshire, doesn't receive a grant in aid from the Ministry of Defence. The MOD says it's extended funding, which was due to end last year. Now, hundreds of X Factor fans turned out in Leicester to see winner Sam Bailey back in her home city. She signed copies of her new album at HMV in the city centre this evening. Earlier this month, Sam announced she's expecting her third child and she told Lucy Kite that her pregnancy means, despite her newfound fame, she still manages to keep things well and truly grounded. I don't think I could ever be big-headed about anything because I think I'm just grateful for what's happened and grateful for what I've achieved. And, you know, I celebrated winning the X Factor with a coconut macaroon and a cup of tea Did on you? my own in a hotel room. <laughs> Real rock and roll stuff there. And, uh, you know, the weekend, if, if I get to number one, I want to take the kids out bowling and just watch them play on Mother's Day because that's what it's all about, you know. A cup of tea and a macaroon sounds like a very good idea. Uh, Sam Bailey talking to the Lucy Kite there. Here's Lucy again with the forecast. A short break. Whatever the weather. ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. Hello. Well, one more chilly day to go, and then things are warming up for the weekend with some sunny spells on offer as well. As for tonight, well, quite a chilly night to come with a touch of frost quite possible, especially in southern counties. Further north, we've got a little bit of rain overnight. And then for tomorrow morning, we hold on to cloudy conditions in northern parts of the region. Your best chance of brightness will be further south, but all of us seeing some showers that could be heavy as we move into the afternoon. The odd rumble of thunder possible as well. Still feeling chilly in that easterly wind, but temperatures on the rise for the weekend. See you later. ITV Local Weather, sponsored by Centre Parks. Well, that is all we have time for tonight. As ever, the best way to keep thoroughly up to date between now and our next bulletins, bright and early tomorrow morning, is via the website, itv.com slash central is the address. We are back tomorrow. Until then, it's a good night. <laughs>